Hello everyone. Welcome to psptrading.com. My name is Sumit and I will be going to tell you about some important topics in Salesforce and today's topic is that how to display the locations on a Google Map SDK using JavaScript remoting in Visual Code. This is my second video in continuation of JavaScript or how to use JavaScript in Visual Code. So basically my requirement is I have my client offices in different geographical locations and I would like to show their I would like to show their addresses on a Google map in using Visual Force with the help of JavaScript. So that's all my requirement. So to implement this, first of all, let me switch to my Salesforce. So this is my Salesforce as you can see here. In this, I have created one object over here, offices. And in this offices, I can maintain or I can maintain a list of all the offices or my client's offices from different geographical regions. So first of all, let me show you the data structure of this. So if you see this object, you can see over here, this object has got one standard field, office name, and one custom field, that is a location, and that to be data type is geographical location. Because if the data type is geographical location, we will be able to enter the latitude and longitude of any particular area. Now, if you click on new over here, and if I try to add a new record, so I need latitude and longitude over here. I need to enter the latitude and longitude of any particular of the particular office name. So let's say in my scenario, I would like to extract the address of this particular Oracle company in Gurgaon. I would like to know the latitude and longitude of this office. So what I'm going to do is, in Google Map, I'm going to write Oracle Gurgaon. And what it will do, like Oracle Software, Oracle Private Limited, I'll open this, or I click on this, Oracle India Private Limited. This is the address you can see over here. Now we have got the address, but I would like to know their latitude and longitude. So how to get the latitude and longitude? Right click on this and there's an option over here. Watch here. So I click on what's here and from here I'll copy this latitude and longitude and paste in a notepad. So these are my latitude long longitude. So I'll copy these latitude and save over so let's say latitude and for longitude I'll copy this and longitude I paste over here and click on save. So like this you can see I have maintained a list of all my clients offices in Gurgaon region. You can create a record into different regions also. Now my requirement is I would like to show their locations or their office locations on a Google map. So this I would like to implement or I would like to implement this kind of functionality using a visual force and in that visual force I will be going to use JavaScript remoting. So let's see how to do this. So for this first of all let me open or let me create one Apex page or visual force page over here. So for this I'm going to open in a separate page and I write here Apex and slash test page 41 or whatever the name of your Apex page or visual force page. This will be the name of my, if this page exists, it will open, if, does not, if this page does not exist, it will give you a link from where to which you can create this page. So I click on this link and it will create a page for me or visual force page for me. And I can see the code over here. Now I'm going to modify this code. So for your convenience, I will be sharing the code with you. So like I have already I'm saving my time and your time, so I have already created the, uh, I have already developed the code, so this is the code over here, and later on, I will be going to copy, like from head style initialization function, and I'll copy paste this, I'll be share this, I will be sharing this code with you later on, so as you can see here, what we have done, we have created a style over here, and uh, this is a style, HTML body, and this is the height, and margin and threading. Over here there is a script source. Basically we are getting Google map and from here we are 
sending uh, sorry yeah and then we have a variable over here map and in this variable and there is in there is a function over initialize function in map option we have set the property centers and map is equal to google map document dot get element by id and map canvas because i will be going to get the value of the map canvas from the visual course page or the script which we're going to write later on so next is what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this code over here and paste it over here and one thing you can do is you can mention a default latitude and longitude over here so in my scenario i have mentioned a default latitude and longitude of city golgaon and when i click on save this when i save this let's see what happened you can see a map has been loaded over here this is basically a visual force page and you can see there is a map of golgaon but the client offices are nowhere mentioned on this for that we need to implement a functionality now so how to do that so for this first of all i will be going to create a i will be going to change my header and i will be going to add a controller over here so in this i'll add a controller as a hotel remoter and when i click on save it will show me an error that this controller does not exist let me change to to it it will show an error that this controller does not exist so what we need to do is we need to click on this and create our apex class so it will create an apex class over here this is my apex class and what will be the code inside the apex class the code inside the apex class is this is my code so i copy this code basically i'm i'll copy the whole code and paste in place of this and change the name over here so as you can see here we have a remote action over here at the remote action now what's the purpose of this at the remote at the rate remote action is this remote action annotation it provides support for apex method used in visual force to be called via javascript this process is often referred to as a javascript remoting basically this is our javascript remoting and this will be providing as you can see here this will be providing the locations and the latitude and longitude or the location of the val of the offices or the uh, the values to the javascript code so this will be my code over here so that is not done yet because still we are not able to see the locations over here so now i have to extend my code i will go back to my visual code and in visual code just after this initialization function i will be going to copy a code over here so i am going to create a load office function and this load office function as you can see here this load office function it is remoting and invoke action and it will remote action dot hotel remoter dot find all basically find all as you can see here find all is a function over here and this will find all the locations and it will return the value to this particular javascript function over here to this function load office function and here we are running a loop and we are extracting the latitude name and longitude and will pass the values to add maker function and this add maker function is used to display the values on a map so basically uh, these two functions will work together so i'll copy paste these functions i'll copy these functions and paste this just after this one and that's all and let me save this and see whether it's work or not okay this hotel remoter is not here because we have hotel remoter 2 dot find all because the the name of it is hotel remoter 2 still it's not working because we need to call this function i need to call this load office function so i'll call this load office function from my uh, over here from my value initialization function so load offices and i'll call these functions or oh, sorry i call this function and click on save and once you click on okay or once you save this and as you can see and you will you can see here there are red dots or red symbols over here these red symbols basically are the location and if you or the offices addresses locations like oracle microsoft infosys tcs and id and if you move your mouse pointer you can see there names also like nit golgaon 
this is Infosys, this is TCS, this is Microsoft, this is Oracle. So this is how I can sh I can see my client's addresses or the locations on a Google map using a visual force by uh, using JavaScript remoting in Salesforce. That's all in, the, in my video. I hope you like this video and this video will help you to understand more about JavaScript remoting. If you have any questions, you can visit our website bispetrainings.com or you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more interactive videos. Keep watching and have a nice day ahead. Thank you all and bye bye.